enumerators okay so all the machines uh, that we seen so far uh, are generating machines so, uh, sorry acceptive machines they will accept a given language okay uh, unlike uh, all the uh, we studied so far enumerator is a generative machine or enumerating machine okay that is it will have a finite control and an input tab or we will call it as a work tab and uh, uh, the finite control will do some operations on the work tab and after reaching some state the finite control will print an output on the uh, printer or an output tab okay um, so uh, it will uh, uh, note that on every process it will know every step it will not print an output some uh, after processing a sequence of uh, symbols in the work tab the uh, enumerator will reach some state uh, some printing state and from that printing state it will uh, print the output onto the tab okay so formally we can uh, define an enumerator as a seven tuple okay q is a finite set of um, states okay and sigma is a finite non empty set of output or print alphabet it is called output alphabet uh, we are in all the machines we studied so far sigma is used as input alphabet but here sigma is a output alphabet and um, tau is a finite set of non empty set of symbols in the work tab the symbols in the work tab is represented by tau and delta is a transition function from q cross tau to q cross tau cross left to right tab head can move either left to right here like a turing machine and cross sigma okay some uh, at some stage it will produce an output okay and q0 is the uh, start state or initial state and q print is the state where it is printing and q reject is a rejecting state and it will never is equal to the printing state okay and uh, the relation between a turing machine and an enumerator machine is that a language is turing recognizable if and only if an enumerator enumerates the language okay that is a language is uh, acceptable or recognizable by a turing machine if it is the, uh, if it is generated by a enumerator machine okay we can prove it in uh, two ways that is two side we have to prove that is suppose an enumerator e generates a language a then the turing machine m will accept the language a okay that is an enumerator e uh, gener uh, generate a language a suppose a is the language generated by the enumerator e then the turing machine uh, will turing machine m will accept the language okay so how we will construct that turing machine is that on uh, input w uh the turing machine uh, suppose uh, w is our input string then the turing machine m will uh, run e every and uh, e will uh, output some string okay definitely the numerator will output some string and it will compare uh, the output string with w and uh, if uh, w ever appears on the output of e then that turing machine will accept the given string that is uh, the Uh, suppose m is the turing machine we are going to construct then that what m will do is that m will uh, run e okay m will run the emulator uh, enumerator e and uh, enumerator will output some string okay okay and uh, suppose whenever the output string become the string w then uh, m will accept that uh, string okay, this is how we will construct a turing machine for a given enumerator okay now um, we will do the reverse here that is if the turing machine m accepts a language or a is a language accepted by m then uh, the enumerator uh, e will uh, enumerate all the string in the language a okay then we can consider enumerator e that enumerates all the string in the language a okay suppose uh, sigma is the uh, input uh, sigma is the alphabets of the language a and the sigma star contains symbols like a s1 s2 s3 okay these are the uh, and up to si okay so these are the uh, strings in sigma star okay but all the strings in sigma star does not belong to L. some strings in sigma star will belong to the language a okay so how the enumerator will run is that it will ignore its input okay and it will uh, suppose uh, there are i symbols in sigma star okay there are uh, i suppose there are i strings in sigma star then it will repeat uh, uh, the step 2 and 3 for i equal to 1 2 uh, 1 2 3 up to how many symbols are there in sigma star okay it will run m for i steps on each input input uh what it will do is that uh, suppose uh, s1 is a string in sigma star okay then uh, this enumerator will uh, take 
as soon as in, uh, input uh, numerator will simulate the Turing machine M on input S1 and if M accept it then the numerator will print uh, that uh, S1 if M reject it then the numerator will take S2 as input uh, as in numerator will give S2 as input to the Turing machine M and uh, if M accept it uh, then the numerator will print it that is uh, we have to simulate uh, this creating a numerator E okay so what a numerator E will do is that it will uh, input uh, some uh, all the string s1 s2 etc to the Turing machine M okay and if M uh, accept it uh, accept s1 okay if M accept s1 then the numerator will print s1 all the time okay if m reject if m is rejecting s1 enumerator will not print okay then the enumerator will take a next input uh, s2 in sigma star next string s2 in sigma star and simulate m and if m has it it will print s2 if I reject it will not print like that it will take all the strings in sigma star and simulate m okay how that is how we will create a uh, uh, enumerator that uh, uh, enumerates all the languages in the Turing machine okay so uh, Note that uh, all the languages do recognizable if and only some enumerator enumerates it.